everybody. This is Brenda Lee with the Libations podcast slash YouTube video. And I have a special guest today. The one, the only, the best mother in the world who decided to oh enjoy Taco Tuesday with me. One of the best Tuesdays ever. My mom, Gloria. Say hi, mom. Well, hi. How are you? I'm here celebrating that Taco Tuesday with my beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is it Taco <laughs> Tuesday, it's also Tequila Tuesday. Oh, so yes. So I went ahead. My mom isn't much of a drinker, which is fine. Um, so I made a, a slightly lightweight margarita for her. Did you try it yet, Mom? Well, just a little bit, but I can try again to let you all know <laughs> how this is. Tell me how you like it. I made it specially for you. Delicious. I think with something like this, I can have another one. No, you're at your limit. Okay. One for mother only. Say. Okay. But we're both enjoying margaritas, and I went ahead and took the liberty of asking my mom, who is originally from Costa Rica. Is that right, Mom? That's right. Costa Rica, my beautiful country. So she knows authentic cuisine like none other. Um, Mexican tacos are very different than Costa Rican tacos. Do you agree? Totally. It's a different story. Not even. You need to go over there and I am inviting you to have one. She could be your tour guide. Seriously. Oh, yes. Um, but the, the cuisine that we get to enjoy here isn't necessarily the same as the cuisine that she gets to enjoy. But she knows about authentic food. She knows about authentic cuisine. And she is the best judge of um, tacos. I say that the tacos that I bought right here, which I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of these oh. guys. Oh, they look so good. So I, I did want, I, well, I bought a bunch of them just for us to try. Just for two people. Um, for two people. So my, one of my go-tos in San Antonio is Sangria on the Berg. They have really good tacos. Um, and I wanted to invite my mother to try these tacos and to give some feedback on what she thinks on them Because I obviously have different tastes than she does. She grew up in Central America in Costa Rica eating totally different food than me Yes That's um, the truth What? what is... Mom <laughs> The best for the best. Don't pay attention Edit Let's oh, add a little music for the show She's very popular. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> we'll just cut that out later. Or I, I might leave it. Anywho, um, she's the best judge, and so I wanted to get her opinion, because these may be the best tacos for me, coming from born and raised in San Antonio, Texas. Her, on the other hand, she may have a different opinion on them. Is that right, Mom? That is correct, yes. So, so what's your opinion on the difference between Mexican tacos and, I guess, Costa Rican tacos? Is there a difference and are there such thing as Costa Rican tacos? Yes, and the big difference is because the tacos in Costa Rica is only one kind. Is you have like a, the tortillas, like a flauta, like when you order flautas with the meat, but they kind of like a opening and insert cabbage with a very special sauce and that's what I, that they are the Costa Rican taco not with different meats and everything else so this is a big difference that's why it's Costa Rica tacos and Texas San Antonio tacos well, but Tex over here Mex, right? Tex Mex delicious tacos because they are different meats in mm -hmm. some cases I prefer this ones because I can order the meat of the one that I prefer, like the carnitas and I mean, asada, oh, asada is a good one the too. asada, the chicharrones, I like all that, except with the spicy. I'm not a spicy person. See, that's where I get it from. I'm not. I get made fun of because they're like, "Aren't you Hispanic? Shouldn't you like uh, spicy foods?" I'm like, "I'm not a spicy person because I didn't grow up with like." Spicy food, I guess. That's my daughter. We have the spicy <laughs> on ourselves. <laughs> We're spicy as, enough as it is. We're born like this. Let me... Ask anybody. <laughs> but so, but tacos wouldn't be the staple in Costa Rica. What would you say, like the main staples, the main dishes that that Costa Ricans prepare? Um, what's like the top? 
the top and the number one that the people over there i mean they serve it anytime that you can order for breakfast for lunch for dinner that's what we call the gallo pinto mm. that is a mix of a white rice with black beans with onions and cilantro and a lot of garlic and the special thing is the touch of that we give it to it because when we do it with from the bottom of our heart the love that we put in it they make up the exquisite dish and then mm -hmm. you can order with different meat you can order with the chicken with the steak with the uh, with oh avocado uh, natilla, which is something like a we eat over here, sour cream, we mm -hmm. it's yeah, natilla cream. over there in the side, or white cheese, and then fried eggs for the morning, like chicken for the lunch, and probably steak for dinner. Mm -hmm. But for all the three times of the day, they go with the gallo pinto. How oh, delicious! You need to go there, or someday by special location, come to my house, and I'd be glad to prepare a gallo pinto. I think my daughter <laughs> can introduce you to something like that one of these days. Yeah, she's inviting strangers, but that's okay. <laughs> that's how Costa Ricans are. They are, they love a house full of people. They yes. love music. They love all of that. So hospitality is a big thing in the Costa Rican culture. Um, I have to say my mom's house is always filled with people from just everywhere even from her own country and from around the world. Um, we love to take care of people, we love the hospitality, and that's kind of just something that's been instilled in the Costa Rican culture for as long as we can remember. And as long as I can remember, there's always people filled in the house, and that's what makes them happy, is a house full of people with full stomachs, with good food, good drinks, and just good people and good music too. And the good music, I was about to say, Dada, <laughs> don't forget, forget about that. For me, that's the more important thing of everything. Good food, go with good music. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Every Sunday morning, I would wake up to her Spanish music, and that's when I knew I had to get up early to help clean. Yes. That's just how it is. And it's just, it's, it's in the culture. The best. The best. So next we should do maybe, well, the next episode, we should maybe do... Gallo Pinto. Gallo Pinto. We should do something that um, I like personally, which is platano. I love platano. Fried plantains. They're so good. You have oh, to try that. With the white cheese. Mm -hmm. That it can be, I mean, my goodness, if you taste it forever, you're going to be in love with something like that. In love. And very easy to prepare. But today, so I usually try and keep it real all the time on my social media, on my videos everything um this isn't sponsored by anybody only me and so um i already said i love sangria on the berg i love their tacos but let's ask someone who's very authentic to herself and to what she eats um let's go ahead and do a little taco taste test are you ready for that let's do it okay so i'm gonna give you the tacos which you guys already saw them is the Hawaiian pork. So the, and these are all on corn, they're handmade corn tortillas. The Hawaiian pork has a pineapple salsa and cojita cheese, and of course, pork. On a corn handmade tortilla. They're not store-bought, they're handmade. So let's see what your first, actually I wanna have one too. Now let me know how the flavor is. Is it spicy? Is it flavorful? I like it. Not of spicy. Because mm. the otherwise, I swallow it and then I don't taste anything. <laughs> so, it's delicious. The meat is well prepared. It's very I like tender. It. Very tender. And that's one thing that I like in meats. They have to be very tender and full of flavor. And this one is. I like it. It's, it's very good, especially pork. Mm -hmm. And let's go from one to ten. Okay, this is like an eight. An eight? Okay. I can deal with that. Mm-hmm. 
Don't eat it all because we still have like three more. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm waiting. <laughs> mm hmm Okay, so the last taco, what was your was it good? Did you like it? Oh that chicken, right? Mm hmm That is the flavor is that's the way I like it. For real. They have that that flavor, it don't have to taste like chicken. But I have to have a combination of the juices and everything together. It give that a special flavor that I like it. And it's in that taco. And practically, like you asked me before, I give it a 10 in that one because it's Ooh. real, real delicious. I recommend it. Okay, that's the winner so far. Let's move on to the next taco. So the next one is going to be the brisket, which obviously is like a little piece of brisket. Oh, I need to cut it. Mm -hmm. So this one has, oh, here, hold on. Just better really little piece. It has a pineapple mango salsa with the cojita cheese. I'll give that oh, one to you. That is kind of like, uh, like Hawaiian, something like that. Yeah, like the mango salsa. Yeah. Which we love mangoes. Oh, yes. So let's okay. get into it. Mmm. I kind of expected like a tough brisket because that's usually what I'm used to. Me too. <laughs> but this is, it feels like I'm eating fish. <laughs> Which I don't like fish. But, but uh, I say in the salt. It's very soft. I've never had their biscuit taco, to be honest. Mm-mm. Because I don't like having to like pull and chew on like meat. To me, that's it's just not appealing. Yeah. But this was really easy to eat. And the mango pineapple salsa with the cojita cheese just really complements the brisket. And I'm not having to chew and have like lockjaw just trying to swallow this piece of meat. It's good. Actually... My first time that I taste something like this, very different, I have to admit it. But it's delicious. On a scale from 1 to 10? I give it a big 9 and this one. A big 9. Big Not 9. Not quite a 10, but a big 9. Mm -hmm. That one's really good. I have to finish it because I don't want it to go to waste. How do you feel about That's the tortillas? Right. Tortillas are good, very good. I'm not too crazy about tortillas, but these ones are good. Of course, I like better the ones I make by hand. You don't make them by hand. Or I can, but why <laughs> they are at the store. <laughs> then the store is easier to go and get for eight tortillas and that's it. But it's delicious, I, I really, I'm impressed mm. with the softener of this. That mm. is a compliment mm. that you will mm. never get from anyone else. It's good. I recommend them. The chicken with the big ten and this one with the nine. Oh yes. See, I have good taste in food. If my mom agrees with me, especially on these, you should listen to me and follow my Instagram page, shameless plug, at the Cheeky, Cheeky Epicurean on Instagram. And can I ask actually where these tacos are from? So they're from this little place on Fredericksburg in San Antonio called Sangria on the Berg. Oh, Fredericksburg, okay, Berg. okay. Um, and they have really good drinks. They have Sangria flights where you can order like three or four like mini sangrias and try them all. Um, but they're known for their, their tacos. And even though it's COVID, they're closed, they're still offering um, pickup orders. Or you could do what I did, which is go there. And I went inside, I had my mask on, of course, because you gotta stay safe. Not required. Um, mm -hmm. And I ordered tacos. I ordered all these and it took them about 20 minutes. They brought them out to my car. Easy peasy, it was done. They delicious, but I have something to say. Always keep yourself tuned for everything that she recorded because uh -huh. she always go to the best restaurants and get the best of it and pass it to you so it can be an easy way for you to go with all confidence 
and eat in those places. I didn't even tell her to say that. She said it on her own. And she's drinking, but I gave her like that much alcohol. So that's real talk. <laughs> so, so it's not the liquor, okay? <laughs> <It's not> the liquor. <laughs> you can't blame it on the alcohol for that. That no, was real talk. Not this time. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so let's do this one. Um, this one is, let me see. I think that one is the pulled pork? Yes. Oh wait, no, this one is. Oh yeah, that one knows, yeah, that one's a pulled pork. It's, it's hard to get them like, you get them confused because they're all so good. So what are your thoughts on this taco? Very good. Um, I like it because until you now, all the ones that I eat, they they very tender, salt, full of flavor. This one is very good too. Being um, like beef, I give this one an eight. They have flavor, they have everything, but not as much of the other ones. So I give it a eight. Mm -hmm. Just if you see. <laughs> Eight. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an eight. <laughs> that's an eight. And the times that we live in now, that's an eight. That's an eight. But overall, they were good, right? They were flavorful. You didn't rank anything lower than a five. No, never. They they delicious. And They're it's good. the first time that I get a taco from there. Mm -hmm. And that's what I asked because I didn't know where they went from. But uh, for real, that place really have a good taco. So if you want a good taco, just go in there. And this comes from an authentic Tica, Costa Rican, my mom, who That's is the authentic me. taste tester and who um, is going to tell it like it is. So. Oh, yes. That, I say the truth. They were bad, but I like give a zero, you know. But <laughs> they good. I know you would. That's why I wanted they you to be on the show. They are good. Good job. Well, let's go ahead and end this. We still have one taco, which I bought two of one, so we're gonna share that. Um, but I think our job here is done. I think so. Yeah. I mean, thank you so much for the opportunity. And I hope so for real, that you guys are gonna be going to this place and enjoy it. Have to be with a margarita, like the ones that we have in right now. Right here. Made Home by made. my daughter. And they is delicious. Like I just say, not too much liquor. Well, I like it like that. Yeah, not I too much. I it up on mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why you see the difference, okay? <laughs> but it was a great lunch with margarita. With I mean, margaritas on a Taco Tuesday. On a Taco Tuesday. And Tequila Tuesday. Cheers From again. my house to your house. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow Libations on Twitter at LibationC. And if you want to follow my foodie adventures, go to Instagram and look up the Cheeky Epicurean. And again, cheers. Enjoy your Taco Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Mm. Jug. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I still have a lot. Woo. All right. Now I can finish this. Yes.